information on the next uh, two weeks ISTE workshop which will be held in December on solar photovoltaic fundamentals, technologies and applications. So, uh, with a brief introduction to the center which we have recently started, the National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education, I will give information on what we are going to cover in that workshop as well. So, as we know that recently uh, Government of India has taken a very big initiative in terms of Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission with its ambitious targets of achieving 20 gigawatts by 2022 and it is itself a very ambitious targets in term of like we will require significant amount of effort in terms of R&D as well as manpower. So, PV industry which is the fastest growing industry in uh, renewable energy sector like the annual growth rate as you know it is 60 percent every year. So, it, there is already a scarcity of manpower and we will need a vast like train uh, manpower to uh, meet out the requirements of Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission. So, as per the mission documents we will need about 1 lakh skilled and trained people in this area. And if we do the calculations based on the Department of Energy US report, the number goes much up, it goes to about 3 lakh. So, right now even uh, if we look at the energy institutes which are there in the country or the colleges and universities which are running energy related courses, the number which we are training every year is not even 1000. So, as such we can understand there is a significant demand, there is a significant need of trained people in solar photovoltaic. So, with that thing in mind, the National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education, this was set up at IIT Bombay and it started functioning in October 2010. So, this is being funded by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. And as the name itself is suggesting, it will be focusing on research as well as education. So, under the research we will be covering the vast area starting from solar cell, fabrication, characterization, PV systems, the new materials which we can have, uh, balance of system, power electronics, off grid and grid connected issues and all. So, again uh, this is an integral part, but education also is also an important part in the National Center of Photovoltaic Research and Education. Uh, so, as such we will be having several activities under education and training. For education and training part, we have been conducting short term courses. So, for the calendar year 2011, we have planned for 5 short term courses, wherein we can train students, college teachers as well as industry persons. So, already we had a short term course in February that was on solar PV power conditioning and balance of systems. Further we are planning to have grid connected solar PV power systems in May 6th and 7th of May two day course. <coughs> Fundamental of solar PV technologies that will be for 5 days in June and that is specially for college teachers. Thin film solar PV technologies that will be for 2 days in September. Crystalline silicon cell fabrication and characterization for 3 days in December. The calendar is already there on the website of Department of Energy Science and Engineering. You can go through it. Other than that we have also planned for training of industry people who are already employed in solar photovoltaic industry to retrain them, to reorient them, maybe just to recapitulate their older concepts and wherein we will be uh, organizing courses for them as well as we have also planned for uh, that they can be get, they can be connected throughout CDIP web based courses or maybe they can take up some of the credit courses and get a diploma or a postgraduate diploma in the field. We have a department of energy science and engineering at IIT Bombay and it is already running uh, PhD, MTech, BTech and MSc program. In that way we are already teaching them solar photovoltaic courses and we are planning to add up some advanced courses. But we know that training at the institute level to our students won't help in developing such a critical mass. So, as such all these courses have been formulated. So, we we are doing in this uh, regard. The next step which we have planned is organizing a 5 day IST workshop again on solar photovoltaic fundamentals technology and applications. The methodology that we will be following is more or less same as is followed for this electronics workshop. So, we will be inviting faculty members from different colleges who will be acting as coordinators and they will be coordinators for the main workshop. 
coordinating the tutorial sessions, coordinating the logistics and all looking after the logistics lab sessions and all. So, for that uh, the coordinators will be oriented trained to conduct all these things. They will be given uh, lectures on the A view mechanism of interaction with participants. They will be trained to conduct the tutorials and labs. Since the final contents will be absorbed by most of the colleges, as such we need to discuss about what would be the course curriculum which is to be taught during the main workshop. So, the objective for organizing the coordinators workshop which will be from 11th to 15th of April will be we will have to define a common syllabus that could be adopted and that could be taught during the main workshop. Finally, we will be also looking at the graded coverage from simple to difficult levels, nature of tutorials that could be planned, the lab experiments under NCPRE we have also planned to develop low cost laboratory kits and these the technology will be developed here and then it will be disseminated to different institutions wherein they can replicate. As you know the uh, technology for fabrication and characterization itself it is a very sophisticated technology and it is not very easy to replicate it everywhere. But by means of such low cost systems these could be like students can have a flavor of what is how the cell is fabricated, how modulate modules are formed. So, for giving them such feelings we will be developing such low cost uh, laboratory kits. Other than that uh, we will also we also have some program that will I, I will give you information about it for college teachers. If again looking at the coordinators workshop all these things will be discussed besides the uh, use of the learning management system, audio visual equipment, editing tools. So, that uh, information will be given to the coordinators. So, the coordinators workshop for the main uh, for this uh, course will be from 9th April to I am sorry from 11th April to 15th of April and uh, all those institutions who are already running energy related courses or who are planning to organize or are planning to start such courses they will definitely get benefited out of it. So, the only requirement is as you already know there should be an internet connection with a wherein you can have 30 participants at the remote center. So, the course this course will be uh, again registrations are already going on and registration could be done through the Eklavya site. Uh, we have already 30 candidates who have registered. So, again it is on first come first serve basis. Where we, uh, the teaching faculty will be Professor Chetan Singh Solanki who is a well known person in the solar PV area and Professor B.G. Fernandez from Department of Electrical Energy, Professor Chetan Singh Solanki from Department of Energy Science and Engineering. Broadly the course which we are going to cover in uh, the main workshop it will be solar PV fundamentals and technologies that will include the semiconductor device physics. So, starting from solar cell design the silicon technology. Uh, your um, PV modules in app that will be covered in 20 hours. In another 20 hours the application part will be covered like introduction to the power electronic systems, grid connected and off grid systems and the life cycle cost analysis. So, this is all about I wanted to tell you about the next coming up workshop and all of you who are interested they can register on Eklavya site for it. Other than that other if you feel that the uh, your other colleagues or maybe uh, some of your knowns who may be interested in registering for this workshop, please uh, let them know about it. So, lastly I would like to say that under NCPRE we are also proposing to have a, a Indian a, a photovoltaic user program under which as you know that the facilities we have at IIT Bombay under NCPRE these are of one of its own kind. So, you would not be finding those in the country anywhere else like the fabrication lab we have highly sophisticated instruments for characterization. So, there is a program wherein all those uh, uh, participants who want who come up with their innovative ideas and they want to do some sort of experiment, they want to do some sort of characterization, they are welcomed here, they can come up with their proposals, they can submit it to NCPRE and with, uh, finally, they can use our facilities for doing their own research work. So, with this I would like to conclude. Any questions? Okay, thank you.